Hello testing. How are we doing? Are we live? Is this a live? To quote Vin Diesel. Are we doing okay? I think we're doing okay. We live, Pog. Joel, we never speak. We never speak. Me and Joel just tried playing a bit of Power Wash. Very chill game. It's a good game to get zen for. Or, you know, get into the process of being zen while playing just before I have to deal with parrying for an hour. Um, so I'm actually only going to stream for a little bit today. I'm not going to stream very long. But um, I think that, yeah, I'm going to just see how I get on, see if we can actually beat this boss. It'll be difficult though. It is going to be difficult. How are we looking and sounding, by the way? Are we doing okay? Hopefully we're doing okay. Stop moving. Make me. That's alright. Well, we're warming up. As I say, I want to try and do it without without parrying, really, because I hate the parrying in this game. I'm just gonna just gonna continue to be that person. Be like, I hate this core game mechanic. That's clearly something I should be doing. But it's fine. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, not a fan of that move. Damn, I'm getting greedy already, and that's not good. That's no good. To tell for that move, I'm never good with. I look forward to giving Sarah your head. Help, BD. That's alright, no worries, Joel. You'll just hear mild rage on and off in the background. Damn, that move sucks. Oh well, we 
be alright. I was saying to Joel that I want to kind of get this... Actually, I was saying this to Lara as well earlier. I just kind of want to get this game out of the way at this point. I'm, I've really enjoyed it. But, uh... It's definitely one where this final fight is, uh... In some ways overstaying its welcome. I could do that actually, and that'd probably be a good thing to remember. Yeah, that move is poopy. This is the end, How did I not hit you there? That move is so annoying. Nearly killed me in one as well. Right here, bud. That won't change anything. As I have. Know your place. Get in there. I don't think I've got it this run, but we get in there. Yeah, that's the move. The annoying move. It's okay, though, we're getting better. I feel like it might not take super long to do, all things considered. But we're getting kind of lucky early in. I didn't deserve that, but that's fine. Yeah. You won't 
survive the day. This is the end, Padawan. Yeah, that move is so annoying. That sucked. Hey, BD. That move's no fun. It's alright, we'll get there. Every time I look at chat, all I see is, Hey Poochie! It's me, me, Mars. I love it though. I've got that channeling now. Imagine if Wallace was a Jedi. Or a, or, or a Sith for that matter. I feel like it's probably a YouTube video. Damn, I thought I got out of the way of that game, but okay. You're going to regret that. Yeah, I probably deserve that. Damn, I got greedy there. We had two stims. Part of me was, I did actually get a face cam ready for today as well, but I was like melting. I do not look good right now. <laughs> part of me did think about it. Part of me did think about it. Damn me, I deserve that. What just happened? You know what, fair play. That was a bad run. That was a bad run.
I think we could probably do it though. We got very close in one of them. I think it's just about like maintaining some chill. Right, so the opening thing we do here, we get our souls back like that. Right, I said we just keep our distance. We just wait for her to mess up. I think that's the way we play this. Oh, come on. Yeah, that move is such BS. That's alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. I didn't hold it down, Cal. Why did you do that? Help me, 
Bidi. I can't do it fast enough, game. What the fuck? Come on. Jedi will never be victorious. I'd like to make a complaint about the button inputs in this game, thank you. Damn it. the thing that's like annoying sometimes with the blocking is that it is like a millisecond delay. That's enough for this game to be picky about it too. Sometimes it will be like, no, we want you to actually do something a second before, a second after, or directly on put time. That move can actually suck my toe. Just like the rest of your kind. Oh, okay. And not in a good way either. Now I'm getting, I'm losing track. All right, Dave, calm down, calm down. Perfect. There we go. We're doing okay. Focus. Game, come on. I pressed it twice and didn't do it. Gotta 
gotta practice jumping properly because I feel like this game is just gonna screw me over by not doing it sometimes now. Over here. This is not doable. I just can't do that in time, I don't think. That's just... It just doesn't seem like something I can physically do in time. Yeah, that's just, just like oh, unlucky. Welcome back to the equivalent of the Soul of Cinder. We will be here for another six streams. <laughs> My new question is, do I even bother trying to parry the things back at her? Like the... Like when she throws them, I mean. Or do I just dodge them for eternity? Moving. 
No, I'm not falling for this. In this game. I'm not going to do what you want me to because you know how to parry better than I do. I can dodge pretty well though. Dodging is my uh, my strong suit I'd say. Nearly. Maybe next time, huh? I think we found it. I think we found the Dave method. Just never ever go for a parry in this fight unless we have to. I need something, buddy. Stay still. No, nope, I'm not staying still. Use to dodge your light, reflect your lightsaber back at you. Come on. Right, here we go. We did it. We fucking did it. GG. Cal. I have the hawk run. I need to do this. It's over, Trilla. Nothing is ever truly over. This fight is over. I know the darkness that is eating you up inside, and every day we choose to either feed it or fight it. It's too late, Seth. No, it's not. I know the choices that I made took all your choices away, and I have failed you, Trilla. I failed you. I am so very sorry. Uh-oh. Very cautious here. I've carried so much hate for you. Thank you, Jay Boogie. Thank you, Joel. Jay Boogie, how you doing? 
Oh shit. It's him? He's in this game? Holy shit, okay. It's him, TM. You have failed me, Inquisitor. Avengers! Kill! Run! No! <laughs> Seer? <laughs> Seer just died like that, really? Oh no. Seer, please. Uh, yeah. Probably. Probably would be Cal. I would. I don't have to fucking fight Darth Vader, do I? Oh God. Submit. Oh God, it's like that Kingdom Hearts boss fight all over again. Come, Guardian, submit. Run, run, run. Look out. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, shit. What? Cow? Okay, Cow just gave up grabbing there. That's good. Do not respawn me at the beginning of that fight, or I will actually scream. Imagine if it didn't spawn me back. Oh no, I'm actually really scared it's gonna... Okay, thank god. Thank god, could you imagine if I had to redo that fight? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let me up. Go, go, do something. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. No, no, Come sir, on. please go away. Stay away. Stay back. Here's Darthy. He's gonna try and stab us through the floor, isn't he? Tactical guide updated, Darth Vader. It's only Vader, nothing to worry about. It's only, only, you know, it's only Darth Vader, right? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> quick, 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 quick. No, I think you're very, very optimistic, Cal. I'll make it. Seer. I won't fail you. Damn, Seer just got yeeted They're into lava. They're not responding. They will. I am certain of it. Breeze, I'm here. Heading towards the surface. Be ready. I have the holocron. See her. She didn't make it, please. Shit. Go, on, BD. <laughs> Do not. Do not touch BD, I swear. Surrender the holocron. I'll never give it to you. We shall see. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. I won't let you take those children. Ouch. Such hatred. You would have made an excellent Inquisitor. She's stronger than that. No! No! Yes. Strong with the dark side. Seer. I can feel it inside of her. Uh-oh. Seer. Seer! Hey, listen to me! You still have a choice? Uh 
Um. Ali, welcome in. Welcome in. You made it. You made it just in time. Can't believe BD saved us. Did you see that? He hacked our Vader or something. That's pretty cool. We did breach her, like, yeah. So the tactic we used in the end. Oh shit, is Cal okay? Oh no, here we go. We got our friends to help us, it's all good. So we, we didn't parry anything, we just dodged the whole time. And that worked, like, very well. Cal. Cal. See her. We got it. Do we actually keep the GameCube? Where are they? Well, they're out there. Whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh. Sorry. Oh. That was you in the water, wasn't it? I'm glad you're okay. This one wouldn't leave your side. Thank you. Oh. Now what? Well, Captain, this is the end of my charter. Your contract has been fulfilled. Thank you, Grease. Well, if it's all the same to you, I was thinking that maybe I would stick around here and take you wherever you gotta go. Besides, the kid kinda looks up to me. <laughs> what about that? We use it. To rebuild the Jedi Order. The next generation of Jedi. The Empire will be after them. Just like they're after us. The lives of every child on that list will be forever changed. Not by us. Their destiny should be trusted to the Force. Yeah. Good on you, Cal. Good on you. I was gonna say, you shouldn't just uproot their lives just to fulfill a prophecy. So where to now? If they want to do it, they can do it themselves. Roll credits. Okay, I'm happy it ended like that. I was worried that we were gonna be like... We're gonna turn into Luke and be like, lol no, Jedi's, come here, I will train you, and then tried to kill one of you in your sleep. Very cool. Very cool. I like that game. The game was good. Um ignore any complaints about the final fight. That's just Dave getting annoyed in true Dark Souls fashion. Um and the final fight. I think overall I don't know if I'd I was amazed Darth Vader was in it, I had no idea he would be. So the fact he showed up at the end was like, oh shit. Oh shit, stuff's getting real. Um, I don't know what I'd give this game. I think I'm still in the mindset of gameplay-wise, it's not for me. I think the whole FromSoft way of playing things is, is good and it's unique. But I think that the FromSoft games do it better than this one does. Um, Story-wise, I think it's a nice insight into everything. Um, regarding, like, I guess, like, post, post, like, uh, Clone War era Star Wars, question mark. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I, 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 I like the direction this game went with a lot of its things, it felt very Star Wars. Yeah, I liked it. I don't know what I'd give it. I don't know if I'd give it an 8. I might give it a high 7. So I think there are, there are definite 
places where I felt a bit of jank here and there, is all I will say in terms of how it played. Um, that I personally didn't get on with, to the point where it, it felt very limiting, I guess, but... As a game itself, I'd probably say it's it's pretty good if you like the sort of story side of it and everything else. Yeah, I, I'm actually interested to see what they would change for the next game. I don't know if I'd pick up the next game. So I might wait and hear what people think of it. And if they think it's an improvement of this or just more of the same or not. Um, But I'd be, I think I could imagine a bigger skill tree, right? I think that's the thing I'm picturing is something as something they change as a bigger skill tree. And maybe more planets. And that's, to be honest, that's prob that probably would make a good sequel for this. It's just more to do. And more... I think the biggest thing I will say is the customization for how to play the game. Is the one thing that I really respect about the uh, the Souls games. And I felt like this game was very... I don't want to say railroady, but it felt a lot more linear than the Souls games did. So in places that sort of... Didn't do it justice for me. I think it's the only... Slight criticism I can give this game in terms of how it plays. Also, parrying is dog shit, but you know I, that's that's personal bias. That's that's just a Dave problem, right? That's just a Dave problem. Um, but moving on, before I cause controversy, um, yeah, I probably an eight. Uh, yeah, seven point five. I'll give this a seven point five. It could go up. Um, it, uh, if I give it more time to sort of stew. And I'll rewatch all of the VODs and sort of see if my opinion changes, but I'm pretty happy with a 7.5 for this. And also, it wasn't a super long game. If you guys want a FromSoft game that's like, or sorry, a FromSoft style game that's not super long, this was like 23 hours for me. And I'm aware that it's even less for some other people, so yeah. It's, uh, it's a good time. Um... MVP for me is it's probably Grease. I liked him a lot. Merin's pretty neat. Uh, Seer has a really good arc, I will say. Um, there are parts of Seer's stuff that felt very cliche Star Wars, which I don't mind, but... I think it was needed for some of the plot stuff to happen. And Cal was very good. I like Cal as a protagonist. He felt very... Um... Felt very appropriate for a Star Wars protagonist, I guess if that makes sense. Like, he actually felt like a little bit out of touch and a little bit less like fully competent than some of the other people have been as Star Wars protagonists. Like people like uh, Anakin and Luke, who are people who are meant to, in some cases, be very new to having the Force and then being quite competent out the gate. And Cal, I know, had some training before and everything, but. Cal seemed a lot more, like, nubile and, like, kind of thrown out of his comfort zone a lot more. Like, he expressed that more. Yeah, his VA and, uh, I assume the motion tracking guy is the same dude, right? Yeah, they're the same, the same person, right? Um, everything, it's an actor, technically, right? I guess just saying an actor in general. Um, yeah. I think Cal's act is appropriate. It felt very good for the role. Um, yeah, I don't really have too much, like, bad stuff to say about the game. I don't think it's a, a top 10, I love this game, and I'm not sure if I'd recommend it to everyone. I think if you either like a challenge or you like, uh, like Star Wars, they're the two instances where I'd recommend this game. Um, past that, though, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, need, I think I need to sit on it a bit longer. But it's a strong game. Also, as I was saying, apart from maybe RE2, this is the best game we've streamed. Like, visually, it's very pretty. Um, that's the one thing I will always say about EA games, is they know how to make stuff look pretty, even if in a lot of multiplayer aspects it's littered with microtransactions and scum and villainy to keep it on brand with Star Wars. Um, but for a single-player game, this is sort of reminding me of, like, Wow, when EA you actually make a single player game and it's it's good, it's good and I don't know. Hopefully we'll see more of that EA with Dead Space coming eventually. But um but yeah. 
And I don't, uh, again, not really too many thoughts on it right now. I might comment on it later. But, um, I'm still amazed we beat it. Beat it today. <coughs> I did love that the second I abandoned parrying, we won, though. I think that really did sell it to me, like, oh, okay. Yeah, screw this, I'm not parrying anymore. I think the one thing that I will say is, in terms of the, um... The thing that threw me off with that final fight was the fight before it was insistent that you did parry everything, and you weren't able to use force powers on that guy. So to then to, uh, like, be told that you have to use... That, that, that you basically throw everything you just learned out of the water, and you can fight it however you want, kinda. It's a little bit weird to me. I felt like that was going to be a soft lock to instigate. Like, you never have to... Oh, sorry, you have to start parrying a lot more in general. But hey-ho. They are for certain making a sequel to this game? I believe so, yes, J Boogie. I think they've... It's announced, right? I don't know if it's at a trailer, but it's definitely been announced. 100%. 100%. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, but I'm pretty certain I've heard it is, yeah. I'll let the credits roll, and uh, then I'll end the stream. As I say, it's only going to be a short one today. But damn, we beat it. I'm amazed we beat it. To be honest, we did it in pretty good time. I actually think we spent longer on the guy the way we had to learn how to parry than we did on on that. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> the parrying fight took longer potentially. Actually, no. It, maybe it took about the same same amount of time. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. So, as a reminder to everybody else who is unaware of the schedule, we are currently playing through uh, The Witcher 3 DLC. We're starting with Heart and Stone. Uh, in the week, that will be... I might do three days of it, because this is going to be the last month where we fully commit to The Witcher. And then it will be basically battling alongside Final Fantasy VII for screen time. Um, and then I might just do like a, a tedious longer Sonic stream on a Monday. Like I might do a three hour Sonic stream just so we uh, have like an allotted day where we get through a good chunk of that nightmare. Um, but yeah, Sonic Adventure is um, is a thing that, the only other game that we're playing currently. So I think what I'll do is we'll do Monday Sonic and then definitely Tuesday, Thursday for The Witcher. And then I'd say most of the time Wednesday for The Witcher as well, but we might either do a one-off or I will, um, if I deem it necessary, I might have to up the amount we play Sonic. God forbid. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to do three days at The Witcher because, uh, you know, I'm loving the DLC in that a lot. And uh, I don't know, I, I can't believe, I think we are going to spend the entire year playing some form of The Witcher 3. I think that's going to be kind of fun to look back on, like, holy shit, I committed for a whole year to The Witcher 3. Yay, more Sonic. I mean, I hope it's entertaining to watch. To play, it's a nightmare. I genuinely, I had, I'm pretty, I haven't had one yet, but I think I will have a nightmare about Sonic at some point in the not-too-distant future. I'm going to wake up in a cold sweat and, like, see, uh, I'm going to hear, like, what's a song that we hear a lot? I want to fly high. We're going to hear that Taylor song, right? I want to fly high. And uh, I'm going to hear that in my dream. And it's just going to be pictures of, like, Sonic's face trying to articulate emotion on this really awful 3D model. It's going to be like a jump scare. Sometimes watching someone suffer through a bad game is entertaining. I'm glad. I'm glad that it's... <laughs> I'm glad that people get something out of it. It's, um, it's something. It's quite something. This, uh, I will also say that currently, uh, I have like a big long-term plan for how we're going to decide certain games in the future. I'm still going to have certain games that people have to vote for. 
um, or can vote for to put 100k channel points towards. Um, but they're going to be sort of deemed like priority games that I kind of want to throw out as ideas to people. Uh, mainly to see if anybody would want to redeem it. But in the future I'm also going to have some slots where I spin a wheel of like all of the games that I wouldn't mind playing. And Sonic Adventure 2 is currently on the good wheel. There is a bad wheel as well, but I'll get into that another time. Um, but I feel like the playthrough of Sonic Adventure 1 might determine whether or not Sonic Adventure 2 goes on the shit wheel or the good wheel. So, we will see. We will see. EA talent. EA's got talent. Is there any DLC for this game? I don't think we'll be playing it, but I'm just curious, is there any at all? I'm surprised there isn't, if there if there's not. This seems like the sort of thing that would get DLC, but... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. There isn't? Oh. Oh well. Oh well. Now to count the days till Final Fantasy 7, I know it's uh... How many days in July? Is it 30 days or 31? It's either going to be 15 or 16 days till we start Final Fantasy 7 Remake, but my god. I am... Um... I already love that game, and I've I've watched people play it. 31, okay so 16. But I guess... Anyway, anyway. No, for anyone that doesn't know, Final Fantasy VII, I adore. But the remake? Very cool. I'm going to be fanboying hard for the remake, so... If it becomes a bit insufferable for people, I do apologise. <laughs> my god, so as UK news, uh, we're expecting to get very, very, it, it's going to get even hotter, which I'm not looking forward to over this weekend. So I legit think the country is going to riot. I'm calling it now. They're going to riot against the sun and blame Boris Johnson for it being too warm. That's going to be the next week, which is going to be good. We love to see it. We love to see it. Um. Yeah. I've got to say, like, summer I think might be my least favourite month. Is that bad to say? Uh, month? Sorry, um, season. Uh. See what I mean? Like, I feel like I have a hard time with processing what I want to say to begin with, but then if, when you bring heat into the equation, I'm fucked. I'm amazed I even beat that boss. Like, the cognitive brain power put into actually comprehending how to deal with that was, uh, 
Eh, it probably wasn't that bad. But yeah. Go the same way Nashville gets so humid. Yeah, I bet. I bet it's... uh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... It, I, I love... I, the thing with winter... that I, So winter's my favourite season. Um, The thing I love about winter... Of course, snow and ice is an absolute ball ache. You know, it, it obviously is. But the feeling of being cold outside and then coming indoors and warming up is amazing. And also, like, going to bed or something like that. And, like, getting, like, really comfy in a duvet or something. Oh, it's like... There's no better feeling, right? In the summer, on the other hand, you f you just melt, you and it's so much more difficult to get cool than it is to like to warm up. You know what I mean? At least it is for me. So summer is just is just the worst for that. Hey ho! Welcome back to Dave Rant. So the Star Wars end credits. I was expecting uh, uh, this might sound very, very like hue, hue, hue. Where is where is content? But for an end credit screen from a game in like 2018, 2019, you'd expect more than a static image, right? Am I am I kind of like? I don't want to sound ungrateful, you know what I mean? But like, it's not even moving. It's like a static image. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, that really does sound snobby. I'm going to retract that statement because that sounds like the snobbiest thing I've ever said. Where is my, Where are my constant CG animations of Greedo doing something in the background? Like, where are my funny Star Wars aliens entertaining me? I might just be a child. That might be it. I just need, like, visual stimulation. Otherwise, I just get bored. Actually, that is the most... That is pretty much the most based thing I've ever said in terms of how my brain works. Maybe that's why I secretly like Sonic. Because it is just like, we're going to pump your eyes full of the most over-the-top stimulating lunacy you've ever seen. One thing I will say, I love Star Wars music. The Star Wars music is always really cool. Always very well done. Even over the years when they've like composed new bits as well, I feel like it's all felt very on theme. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, these are some long credits, eh? <laughs> Skywalker sound. Okay, special thanks. Very special thanks to George Lucas, that's right. Thank you, George. Praise be. Remember when everyone hated George Lucas for a spell? You remember that? And now people love him again. I love how the internet works sometimes, you know what I mean? It's uh it's good. Like, how dare he make the prequels? How dare he? And then the new trilogy comes out, and everyone's like, we want George Lucas back. Where? And they all start crying like babies again. It's great. For selling to Disney, yeah. Uh, George Lucas, sign your soul the way here to Disney and everything that uh, Walt Disney stands for. Mm, okay. Do it anyway. He was like, I wash my hands of this. Honestly, yeah. I mean, the amount of money he must have made doing it, though. Like, I don't know. I know a lot of fans would be upset, but the money must be very good. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. That might set where my priorities stand with that kind of thing, but yeah, the man is set 100%. The one that I wish Disney did better stuff with is the Muppets, because I know they acquired them around the same time as getting Lucasfilm, right? Um, but the Muppets, I feel like, have always been a bit shafted since they were acquired. They had a, one or two films, but that's about it, right? I feel like the Muppets are like... I don't know. 
It's my weird Muppet bias coming out, by the way. And then I, I did marry Kermit the Frog about a year ago. Do you guys remember that? That was a good time. Out of context, that's going to sound so weird. Good. And now we get this image. Very cool. Can, can we go home? Do an after screen credit. Yeah, no, I think you're right, Ali. New Journey Plus. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Cool. Well, that's it. We beat we beat Jedi Phylon. Help Word Hard. Dave Brain. Reach maximum brainage. Um, no, that was good. I actually really enjoyed that game. I really enjoyed that game. As I say, I think if you like a challenge, and if you like anything that sort of souls like, and if you're a big fan of Star Wars, they're the instances where I'd recommend this. I'm not sure if I'd recommend this to... Actually, I think I might recommend this to casual people too, because I think that there's a lot in there where... It could almost be a good stepping stone to like Souls games, if that makes sense, to play something like this. Like, for example, if you like Star Wars, but you're scared about the challenge of a Souls game, combine the two, you know what I mean? Like, play a, play a bit of Jedi Fallen Order, because you already like Star Wars enough to be committed to playing it, and learning a bit of how the gameplay works, and then if you like the gameplay, go on to a Souls game. There you go. I think that's probably a better order to do it. I could see that being, like, a good way to recommend, or get people into it maybe you can also turn down the difficulty you know what I'm amazed I never did that did I do that I might have turned it down what difficulty did we run it at? I can't remember was it like medium it was like medium or something right I definitely didn't do the hardest difficulty because I'm a coward, so it would have been like the middle one. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Thank you everybody for watching. I know it's a short stream, but it's done. It's done. I can now free up 50 gigabytes from my computer again, so there's that as well. And that's also really reassuring considering Final Fantasy VII Remake is 90 gig, so... Um, that is a that is a godsend. Um but yeah, take care. Have a good evening for the rest of the day, everybody. Thank you, Joel, thank you, Ali, thank you, Jay Boogie. Thank you anybody else that's popped by and luck today, you're very much appreciated. Um And yeah, I will be back on Monday in a bit. Bye bye.